Hello, this is Sean Manderscheid, and today uh, we're talking to you buyers out there. Are you getting ready to make a purchase, and do you have a really solid plan of how you're going to shop and make a purchase decision on a home, or are you just kind of winging it? Um, because I will tell you what we have noted in many recent houses, because um, we're holding open houses in our market every weekend, um, the vast majority of buyers that we're speaking to, we are learning that they're just kind of winging it, um, and they need be purchased in a house. I mean, they're just looking to make an offer on something now and they want to buy in the next 30 to 60 days or they may be three or four months out, but most of them are in that range somewhere. So they're getting close. And um, so we're, we're learning that a lot of them are winging it and they're not really strategic in how they're shopping and they may not know that that's important. Um, so what does it look like when you're just kind of winging it? Well, one, you have an idea of what your preferences are. You know what's important. You know kind of what area generally you want to be in. and you know what sort of traits the house uh, you want it to have. And you're just kind of going to the open houses that you know are open on, on any particular weekend. Um, you may have an agent, maybe a friend of yours that has a real estate license, someone that you feel like you probably work with at some point, um, but you kind of enjoy just kind of going on your own and doing it on your own anyway, which is kind of what we've seen a lot of these buyers do. They don't necessarily have a trusted real estate professional that they vetted carefully, which is really kind of the first step that you would do if you really got organized and had a very solid plan for how to shop and purchase at eye level, there's two main steps that we talk about um, that you've got to do first. And the first one is understanding your finances. You need to know exactly how that sales price is going to translate into a monthly payment for mortgage, interest, taxes, and insurance all in, um, and know that that feels comfortable for you and what that is, and then also what you can be approved up to. Because if you're just off fifty or a hundred thousand uh, dollars on the price of homes that you're looking at, from what you resolve later is you need to be in a little slightly different price range. Then you're wasting all this time looking at homes that aren't even really good solid homes for you anyway. So that is an absolute number one. And the second thing is, is you need to interview at least a couple or a few real estate professionals. Maybe your friend is one of them who has their license um, to make sure that you're making a really solid decision on a professional that has the capacity to help lead you, even though you're gonna have a lot to say and lead with regard to what homes you're, you like and what your preferences are, it's important to have somebody with a lot of experience who can tell you things that you're not aware of that you need to be aware of and that you need to know, even though you may not know them. So, um, and we, we go into that in another video on how to carefully choose who that professional is. But when, I, when we sit down with, a, in, a, in our first buyer consultation, it usually takes about 30 minutes to kind of exchange information and learn about a buyer prospect when they're interviewing, say, real estate professionals. One of the first things that we do is we give them a one-page document that has a, a lot of preferences listed on it. And this is their first homework assignment. We kind of chuckle about it because they got to give it back to us a, a, the next time or soon. And if it's one person or it's a couple, they have an opportunity to fill out their preferences. They list them down and times one or two people, and then they prioritize those preferences to know their top priority, their second priority, and their third top priority and have clarity on that. And that clarity is going to pay dividends through the whole process of shopping for a home because you're going to have very clear vision about what's important to you. And if you're in a relationship times both of you, um, so that you're able to be, feel very confident about what homes you're looking at. And once you do select a home to move forward with and make a purchase on, you're going to feel great clarity and confidence in that decision. And you're not going to hit, get hit with a bunch of surprises later because you're going to vet that home carefully and have good inspections and everything else on it as well. So this is the difference. And then also in the shopping process, and this is the another big notable difference between someone who's winging it and just kind of going to those open houses on the weekend that are open versus picking five to eight homes to go look at in a span of two or three hours on one Saturday or Sunday with your real estate professional all at one time back to back where you're really able to compare areas to areas and house types to house types and have great clarity on I don't like these areas and I like these and I don't like this kind of things in the homes and I like these because you're looking at them all back to back. So that's the difference between shopping at a high level so that you have a great confidence in your purchase um, instead of just kind of winging it. So hope that helps and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks so much.